What's up, everybody? This is Gabriel, your friendly neighborhood game designer. We've been getting a lot of questions about household management and how it works. So you know what? Let me show you. So quick note, a lot of what I'm about to show you is still in development and will likely change based off of the feedback and the ideas that you have. So don't be shy. Let us know what's on your mind. We're listening. So this is the household management screen. This is where you can add characters to your household. You can choose the type of vehicle they drive, where they live, as well as the job they're gonna have. From here, you can also access the character creator, but that's gonna be a video for another time. If I wanna add a character to my household, all I have to do is click the add new button. From here, I can select the type of character I wanna add. I can also save and load characters from the character library. Adding a character from the character library is simple. All I have to do is select the character, click them, and then hit add. I have history with Daffy, so I'm going to add her to my game. And here she is. So I've chosen to play as Daffy. But let's say I want to save her out so that I can bring her into another game. Well, it's as simple as clicking pause and clicking save to character library. Now, the cool thing about this is that I can save out multiple instances of Daffy. So if I want to save her out as a teenager or as an adult, I can do that and bring in the exact copy of Daffy that I want into my game. If I want to bring in a character from the character library, well, it's as simple as clicking add from character library. From here, I can select any of the number of characters that I've saved and bring them into my world. And as you can see, the version of Daffy that we saved earlier is here. I think I'm going to bring in my good friend Coleman and add him to my game. So I'm just going to click on him and click Select Home. This will take us to the Home Select screen. Now, you might notice that this screen is a little blurry, but don't worry, we're working on it. These are just the beautiful imperfections of the game development process at work. All right, back to Coleman. So let's say I want to bring him into my household. All I have to do is select him and then drag him in. But let's say I don't necessarily want to add him to this household. Maybe I want to add him to another household. Well, I can do that too. I just have to find another house, select it, and then drag him into that one. What's cool about this is that I can also rearrange the characters in this household if I want to. The choice is yours. Once I'm happy with where Coleman is situated, all I have to do is click move in and I'm back to play. So here's our good friend Coleman. And as you can see, he's nicely situated in his new household. But if I want to switch back to Daffy, I can easily do that and resume control of playing as her as well as any of the members of this household, uh, and then switch back to Coleman. So yes, you can play multiple characters in multiple households. I can even take control of any of these characters in this household or anyone in the world. You're really not restricted. And uh, I hope this gives you a level of freedom to be able to tell your own stories and really have some fun. That was just a quick glimpse of what is possible when it comes to arranging the households in your game. I look forward to sharing with you more in the future, but until then, be kind, always unwind, and let us know what's on your mind. Laters.